got to admit, as time goes on, I like them more and more. I know it's a sin to say that, but it's true. All right, thanks to our local referees and their willingness to ref games during this time of COVID, it's allowing kids here in Southern Colorado to not have to take a timeout during this basketball season. As Danny Mata tells us, most refs feel it would have been a shame to not hear whistles being blown and sneakers squeaking this winter. Right here, underneath, underneath. For officials working high school games, the pandemic is just as much of an adjustment for them. We're not used to having something covering our faces and try to blow a whistle and then go over and talk to the table, talk to the coaches, try to talk to the kids. Yeah, just blowing the whistle required some innovation. One official invented a mask that most refs are using to help. If I got it in my mouth right now, right? Uh huh. And then, and then it just falls out. Wow. And, and right now it's sitting right here. I'm going to give her a continuance on that. She was going up for the shot when she yeah, got she hit. Yeah, she was already going. Refs typically have it tough. Every time they blow a whistle, Someone doesn't like it, and they've taken their fair share of abuse from parents. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberry. Black, 2-2. Two, two. With fewer people in the stands, you might think that's a plus, but not necessarily. Now that they're opening up a little bit more, yeah, you're starting to hear a little bit more verbiage coming from the parents, and they seem to know the roles better than we do. That mask looks pretty thin, is it? Ultimately, the game does not work without the refs. They're putting themselves out there in a pandemic, and the players appreciate it. A lot of kids have come up to us after the games and told us, thank you very much for coming out. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to play. It's all for the kids. Uh, get them on the court. You know, a lot of them, you know, they want to play. This is, might be their final season, and you would hate to have them lose the season because of what's going on right now. In Colorado Springs, Danny Mata, KRDO News Channel 13 Sports. All right, thank you for that, Danny, and I say this in all sincerity. Thank you, refs, for being out there for our children, and not just varsity, JV, freshman teams, junior high, YMCA basketball. Thank you, guys. We greatly appreciate it. All right, what's going on tonight on think this fine think channel Louis work for? Besides, of course, snuggle alerts that will be rolling on the crawl on our screen <laughs> oh, for the all next easy. week. All evening. I second. Thank you, refs. Tonight